Sup guys, it's Stan Kosh and today we will do beginner's guide for Psychic Idol, the new idol game that was recently out and I think some people need some guidance to this. Some mechanics are pretty straightforward but it's uh, really important to get the right priorities otherwise you will spend your, all your initial diamonds in the wrong place and you won't be able to go through the game after that you will get stuck. So uh, let's go into the game. Right now I am at uh, 221 so I just recently started but I saved up enough resources and I'm already in trouble as you can see my guy is being destroyed here by those hounds. So what do we do? We will go first of all like uh, the first thing you will do you will spend the money that you get for if you're done you gotta spend them for your defense and uh, then for the HP you get the times 100 multiplier then times 10 multiplier and get as much defense as possible because defense is a way better option to survive and then you will get the HP recovery because HP itself is a good health pool, but uh, if the enemies go through that, you are in trouble. Right now, in our case, like if the enemies can't beat through you, you're good. In our case, they can't. So what do we need to do? We need to get better gear, better stats, better multipliers for our defense, because your growth can get you so far. What you will need to do is to, you need to all the time upgrade your monster research when you can do enlightenment, when you can because those are additional multipliers for your stats in-depth research when you can so kinda for us there is no point going back to uh, level 1 to increase main ability because we have survivability issue right now so we will try to focus on the defense let's get more defense upgrades here and obviously obviously guys always collect all your rewards here we will do that before the summoning bam we get 12k red diamonds we actually missed some over here from the battle screen. There we go. Uh, still 12k red diamonds. And we will use them to do the summons. Because that's the best way to go. If you want to, you know, uh, donate some money. To use some money for the game. That's a different issue. So you might want to go for something like, uh, I don't know. Some of those packs with superior gear. I play free to play all the time. So, um, yeah, it wouldn't be fair. So, right, while our guy is trying hard, we will help him by uh, summoning more equipment to him. Uh, what equipment you should go for is really based on what do you have. So, for now, we have the SSS smartphone. It's actually pretty good. Uh, really horrible costume. Hence the low HP. Horrible headset. Horrible protective gear. Hence the you know the low defense so first of all you can merge what you have that will help you out but overall you will need to do the summons and uh you might want to do some dungeons to unlock the new stuff for the computer that will help you to progress faster to get additional rewards so for now we unlock the first tier of the rewards let's do some upgrades here like that's essential to upgrade everything that you can uh what to focus on i would suggest on the computer to kind of evenly focus the resources spread them evenly uh for the drone i don't know the drone here is for your gold bonus so the highest you can get but it's uh not that crazy efficient for the nano machines i suggest going for something that will give you the either the survivability or the damage depending on what do you lack like. like if you are dying way too fast you would like to get some defense machines if you are Good, you should go for uh, something that gives you damage. You can switch them around, no problem. So, yeah, let's go and do some summons and uh, summon. Basically, we want to get the equipment. So, we summoned smartphone already, it's good. Let's move on to the costume summons. Basically, you need to do a few summons for each tier. And here we got the S tier, so it's already pretty good. Before spending everything, you would like to get at least something average in each tier. Uh, section SS, pretty good. Protective gear. Now, here we would like to get something really high. SSS, that's pretty nice. Gloves. What's that? S. Not that bad. Could be better. An accessory. We got unlucky. Nothing really crazy here. Let's do it again. There we go. SSS. Good. So, what about the summoning, guys? When you summon stuff, as you summon more and more stuff, the next tier will give you the higher um, chances of getting the better gear. So let's try it with the smartphones. I want to upgrade the smartphones and see what will happen. Summon again. There we go. Summon smartphone level 2. Good. So as you can see, summon rates changed. So you will get the higher... As your summon rate will increase, you will get the higher rate 
of summoning the higher tier stuff, there is no point trying to get for like uh, the highest tier. What's that? Like U U plus when you get the low tier summons. U plus is unlocked only on uh, I don't know level five or higher. So you will need to grind that. And when you level up, you will also receive the reward. In our case, it's um, you know outlaw smartphone. You will get some reward for yourself. Now, uh, since we summon that, we can summon some drones again because we summoned them already. Those will help you out because the gold that you will get will really help you in the long run. That will define um, your gains, basically, right? And you don't want to spend everything in one go because when you get to 310, you will need to get the amplifier. So, yeah, let's summon another smartphone. Maybe we'll get lucky with the R1. I really want to get... Yeah, another thing, when you level up the summoning, you will get one extra summons. Oh my god, I'm really bad luck today. <gasps> so I've spent a lot of resources. I really want to get the R. Not S, but R summons. We upgraded summon already, so for the same price, you will get even higher amount of summons, guys. Come on. I know that we can make it. Let's wait until SSS plus. It's Okay, that's good. I don't know what the difference is between the tiers, to be honest. So now when we summon a lot of things, we can go to the equipment, merge all, and uh, get the highest tier to us. So difference between the uh, SSS and SSS Plus between the tiers is pretty significant, to be honest. The jump is pretty high, same goes for the highest tier. So it's better to get as high tier as possible, but you know, you know how it is, guys. We get what we get. So merge all on every screen. Get the best stuff. Protective gear. Defense plus 1000%. So we got like plus 10. Now we got plus 1000%. So now we won't die anymore. HP recovery plus 1000%. So take a look at our guy right now. He is not afraid of enemies anymore. They can't do that much damage to him. So we can go to the highest tier. That's how it is. So... It's really important to increase your stats and growth because that's your basis for all your upgrades. And it's also really... Let's actually do the monster research and all that stuff. Because those are extremely important. Like the stats over here are being multiplied later on. Um, and it's really important to get the right gear because that will multiply that amount so it will be even higher. We jumped from CP of 1000 to... 200 million that's actually pretty dope what's that oh yeah we forgot the reward that's not kind of useful but yeah moreover as you can see in the reward here when you will get level 10 uh summons you will get uu plus uh, smartphone as a guarantee like as a guaranteed price so if we will summon a little bit more we will get higher and higher tier rewards just or trying hard so yeah guys your summons and your growth should be focused on what you like the most but uh if you are okay you should really focus on your attack because attack is your farming speed the higher your attack is the more gold per hour you will get the more stuff you will get the faster you will grow so gold bonus and attack bonus are really important but attack can be used everywhere gold is just for the farm next tip is that you really want to go as far as possible in the campaign because that will give you uh, more gold and more drops so your goal is to push as far as possible when you start by <laughs> any means possible by all the upgrades that you can get and don't forget to claim those diamonds from uh, your rewards because you can use them for even more summons. Early on, you will get a lot of those rewards. Later on, that will slow down and you won't get that many diamonds wh while you progress. So you will kind of stall. So it's important to get the right choices at the beginning. Moreover, here in the daily quests, if you want the extra rewards, you can watch an ad. I don't like that, so I don't really watch that. So yeah, if you're eager, you can do that. Uh, as for the events, superpowers, we'll talk about the skills a bit later. Right now, we will uh, get what we get. Oh, for, for now, I can tell you guys that you want to upgrade all, all the time. So, get the highest tier spells available, upgrade them when you can, and uh, get those uh, set effects when you can, because that will allow you to get the additional damage to your main ability. So, that's pretty straightforward, right? Um... Yeah, as for the spells, like, I advise 
focusing on the wide range early on because that will allow you to take out enemies faster, farm faster and progress faster. So uh, it will be easier for you to go to the later stages. And for the spells you should focus, where is it? Come on. Yeah, for the spells you should focus on the ones that are doing wide damage and from the wide damage the ones that have the higher EP cost because EP cost will uh, scale based on the mana spent. So for example for Electric Shock, which is I think one of the best spells available right now or the Fire Ground, uh, deals damage of attack 200%, it scales of attack and 2.4k% percent of consumed EP to the enemy. So for example, how much EP do we have right now? In our case, we have 6 million EP, so it consumes almost half of that, that's like uh, 3 million and it multiplies it by 24, so the damage is pretty crazy with that spell because of that, guys. So yeah, I think it's a good idea. Honestly, that I've put the black hole here, I don't really like it because it's Let's turn off the auto and see how it looks. Yeah, it's really close range, so it doesn't cover the entire screen, so I wouldn't recommend it. We'll talk about the spells in the different video, I think. For now, I will just cancel it and remove it, because it doesn't seem like a good fit. So yeah, what I have right now, I have one basic spell, I have three white spells and uh, two upgrade spells, right? One, two, three, yeah, exactly. So we have the Amplify and Mortal World for the more damage. We have the white spells over here, that's for the basic players, right? For survival, I think I removed all my survival spells because I am okay. So it's not a problem for me. Uh, flame Bullet just for the sake of something to hit enemies with. And it penetrates enemies, so it's actually pretty good because I like that it goes through the enemies, it can take out some groups quite easily. So guys, early on when you just start out, I recommend you to spend a little bit on everything and then spend the rest on the uh, smartphone because you will lag the damage as you play. You want to get something really high rarity, SSS plus, RRR plus or something like that. So the highest rarity you can get. If you're lucky, you're good. If you're not, well, I mean, you can't do anything about that. So far, I've got SSS plus one and uh, maybe, maybe I will get lucky. I don't know. I'm just hoping that increasing the summoning level will allow me to get the better stuff. Because your ultimate goal is to get the highest tier smartphone that will give you the maximum damage, guys. So far we are getting only the S tier stuff. So no R. Even though it's unlocked for us. A little bit more. Air, 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 there we go. We got lucky. And uh, take a look at that. So. We got lucky with the smartphone. I, I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. I thought I will waste everything. So it's all pure luck uh, equipment. Smartphone, there we go. So uh, it jumped from 1.7k bonus to 4.5k bonus, which is like good multiplier. I don't know the exact value, but it's a good multiplier. Moreover, don't forget to activate uh, your rewards for the set that you summon. That will give you quite a good uh, boost to the stats that will give you quite a good uh, bonus to the diamonds as you can see we are getting our uh, few k of that back and uh, merge all and upgrade all and get the highest tier drone and then when you get uh, all the upgraded stuff that you could get you should go to the battle battle dungeons and that kind of stuff each dungeon will consume different type of resource so uh, you would like to get to the highest level that you can. Like, you compare your max reward for each run and see which will reward you most. Like, our max reward was 900, so let's enter uh, tier 4 underground mall and see how much damage we'll be able to do here. How many rewards we will get. If it will be more than 1k, we are good. It seems that we will be able to do that because we are already massacring the enemies. The problem here is that like, you need to take out enemies fast. It's time-based and uh, you need to take out as many enemies in the time given and the problem is that they are pretty far away. But I think we should be able to beat our own high score. 784, 886, no, we, that was less than expected. Oh my god. So, where is it? Battle, there we go. As you can see, level 4 gave us a less reward then a level 3, for example. So, that means that you have to either change your build 
so you will equip only the most damaging spells, that kind of stuff, or that you want to go higher, maybe the higher tier will reward you with more stuff, so we will try the highest one, level 5 now, and see if we'll be able to score more. The problem is that like the enemies are limited and they are uh, all around the area, so it's really hard to take them all out really fast because of that, because you know, you can't really town them all to you. And because of that, you are unable to do the ma maximum damage. I think we would like to add a spell, like they've been one-shotted, so it's 945, okay. So I think, yeah, uh, the thing is, we need to introduce the new set for this, let's go. So guys, we had to wait for our buffs to cool down, otherwise we couldn't switch. So guys, we had to create the new set of skills for the dungeon, I think that one will be more efficient. We have put the basic spell of a fire bullet over there. We have put the blink and telekinesis there. I hope the telekinesis will be good enough because it will pull the enemies closer. And then the wide range, which is fire ground and electric shock. We got only one upgrade, which is amplify, and we don't really need it because the enemies are being one shotted. So let's see uh, what kind of upgrade do we have here. Uh, upgrade all. Thank you. Now let's try to do the battle. We got step seven already. And probably we should be able to get the higher damage right now, because as you can see we are blinking into the enemy group. And uh, that means that we are already, you know, getting more enemies killed, so that takes a, a, like, more damage for us. So let's see if we will be able to score more than 1k damage right now. 1k rewards. I think it's possible because we already got a little bit more, 800 here, come on, 100, oh yeah, there we go. We already beat our high score. The problem is the enemy summon speed, though, and our movement speed. So, yeah. Now, like, when you're doing the normal runs... Yeah, you can switch it while the buff is active. That's really annoying, but what can you do? While the buff is active, you can go through the breakthrough, no problem, and uh, go as many levels as possible. From the dungeons, basically, you want to grind all of them and get as much rewards as possible. You can go for virtual space for that reward that will make you more powerful, so same stuff. You go in, you take out as many enemies as possible and hope that you will get more rewards just like that, guys. Yeah, the problem that our guy is just walking around looking for enemies. They are not everywhere, they are not swarming you in numbers. There is a very limited amount of enemies that you can take out in their required time, which is annoying. And now use those resources to enlighten yourself, because that will give you the uh, additional multiplier to your stats. Go to, I think it's computer, computer, where's computer? I don't remember. Battle, not here. Equipment, computer. Uh, get your computer up to get more stuff, so you will get more drops, so you will get, well, mostly this is for the gold route here, because a gold loot, because everything else is not as good, I mean, equipment drop, that's not crazy good, materials drop, probably not that good as well, but gold, on the other hand, is really nice. So let's multiply our gold gains from this as high as possible, that will allow us to farm more gold, no problem. Underground mole rewards is nice as well, so everything that's connected to the dungeons is good, everything that's connected to the gold loot is good, everything else is not as useful. Moreover, guys, don't forget to check your belongings from time to time. There are chests that can have some stuff for you. And, uh, I mean, merging equipment won't give you that much right now, to be honest. But yeah, merge them all anyway. Because um, you can get the sets ready like that. So you can get the set effects that will help you out. Other than that, I'm not really sure like if the older equipment will be useful for you or not. Now let's move on to the nano machines. Basically, all those bonuses are applied to you when they build as possession effect. So uh, you can upgrade them as much as you can. That will give you additional multipliers. When you equip one of those, that will be times five. So for example, if we we'll equip the defense one, as you can see, the multiplier got higher. So yeah, you would like to upgrade them all, uh, depending on what do you need exactly, and. Uh, spread your resources among them so it will be you know more balanced same goes for drones drones are possession effect as well so when you have some drones that give you the bonuses 
you will get those bombs. Am I right? The higher level drones will increase the range and speed of the harvesting the stuff that's dropped. Same goes for the computer, possession effect, so, you know, upgrade them as much as you want. By the way, guys, all the upgrades that you increase your main ability, they are really good because they increase uh, your HP, attack, defense, EP, HP, and like all the stats when you activate. So, um, you would like to get as many of them as possible, as high as possible, because that's your overall multiplier right here. Sweet. So, this one will give us... Uh, 12% additional stats. Pretty cool. Moreover, guys, don't forget to check out the event here. You got a lot of missions. You collect those uh, mission coins here. That will give you the bonuses from the pass reward. Actually, several of them. That's nice. Let's get all. Okay. And uh, when you complete the missions here, you will get the roulette tickets, which you can go for basically to get extra rewards here. That's another good way of getting stuff, as you can see. Crazy amount of chests, of events, of things. So, there is no other use for them than, you know, rolling. So, you should do this no problem and spend them all here. I, I don't think that there is any other use for that. At least right now. Moreover, guys, with your mileage points, you can go to the shop, to the mileage, and buy some pretty powerful spells. So, uh, it's advisable to buy Ice Bullets and probably the laser as well, but people advise to get the Ice Bullet instead. You can save up for anything, we don't have enough for laser anyway, so I'd rather buy uh, these, several of them to be honest, as many as possible and upgrade it. So, uh, let's see how our gameplay will change when we use that new skill. Where is it? Basic. There we go. Upgrade. Oh, that's not enough. Alright. So now let's open all the chests that we got from the roulette and we got a lot of those colorful nanoparticles that we can use to uh, upgrade our stuff. So guys, we managed to beat the boss and to get to chapter 3 and actually we have unlocked the quantum jump. Oh, there is an alarm, I'm sorry. Uh, let's try, that will kind of give us additional multiplier here. So let's go, the chance is 100% and... Do we have to wait? Yeah, we don't. We got the multiplier right here. The next one is a lower chance. But I think we should be able to do this nice. So the higher it is, the lower the chance of success. When you fail though, when you fail, the chance will increase. So that's how you spend your quantum stuff over here. Enlightenment is going just as always. So that's how you progress. There is no prestige mechanics so far. I thought that quantum stuff will be the reset but yeah moreover guys another good thing about the ice bullet when you equip it you get super power equipped bonus now uh for the most spells it will be like 038 uh, not here 033 but when you use ice bullet bam it's 0062 that will lower the incoming damage for you so i tried this level with the different spell and i got massacred with this thing i'm not taking that crazy damage so i'm taking incoming damage but it's not one shot uh, with other spells i'm being one shot over here and yeah guys at some point your progression will slow down for me it's um uh, chapter three zone four because the enemies are getting harder here and basically after that it's up to you you can uh, just wait or you can go spend the diamonds that you get in order to get even better gear in order to be able to go through this so here like we lack both damage and the defense so we might die um you can boost any of your uh aspects of the game here i decided to go with the gear so i can get the set effects and those will multiply for example my defense times three so uh you know finishing up the sets they can be done automatically over time, yes, but let's see if it helped us. Yeah, it did. So now we're not taking even close to the damage we were taking beforehand and we'll be able to go at, at least a few more levels and then we can get some growth upgrades and that kind of stuff. So you can try um, upgrading different aspects of your game as you play. That can be your gold gain, for example, that can be your sets, your, uh, I don't know, other aspects. 
and progress slowly. Let's actually see on like, how our ranking is. When we started it was 13k, now we are at 3k and it's important to keep your ranking up because the higher it is, the more diamonds you will get per day. So, for example, here uh, we will get 200 diamonds per day. That's not that much, but that's actually pretty good because at some point when you will slow down, you won't be able to get that amount of, uh, amount of diamonds that fast so it, the game will slow down after a day or two so guys i've been grinding this a little for about hour and a half a little bit and uh, what i've got so far i've managed to get some equipment set effects that are really useful like defense attack uh, ss sss sets uh, those increase my survivability by quite a lot i'm at 310 already and i can push forward a little bit more so i'm good I also uh, got lucky with some drops here, so we got a uh, smartphone, RRR, you've seen that one, SSS costume, headset, protective gear, RRR, so that increased my defense quite a lot as well, uh, R gloves and RRR master's necklace plus, which is a good HP recovery, so now I'm alive and well. Moreover, while I was doing those summons, I've managed to get enough to get three more of those mileage R rank superpower. So let's get them. Bam. Three. Put chase. Good. Wait, did I? Yeah, I did. And I think zone 10 clear. Nice. We unlocked more stuff. Um, and now we can upgrade this superpower and that will increase the ice bullet damage and receive damage let's see bam receive damage is even low ice bullet damage is even higher so now we can kind of forward even more and we unlock the uh what did we unlock we unlocked something oh yeah we unlocked the amplifier summon so let's go do that and uh we got sss straight away I want something cool. I don't know what do those things do, to be honest. But I'm okay spending my resources on this. I hope it will be good. Yeah, we're good. We don't get anything better than that. Um, okay. Let's see what those things do. So, that's equipment amplifier. Apply 20% of ability to the 6 types of grade D equipment you own. Oh wow. So it's a uh, passive stuff and uh, well, when you have it, it works. And it boosts the same type of equipment. Huh. Basically it takes 20% of the stats of the stuff that you own and uh, get it to your stats. So I think... I think it works like that. And guys, yeah, as you remember, when we just started, I was somewhere at rank, uh, I think, 6000. And now I will be able to plow through a few more levels. I don't know how many, but it's taking a while. So it's taking slower right now. And in the ranking, I am at 1.5k and rising because the levels are being pushed and my guy can probably beat a little bit more. And there is still some some spot for growth and additional set effect here bam additional multiplier and yeah so using the tips i gave you in this video will allow you to progress through the game way more way easier right i hope that was useful for you guys if this video helped you out even a little bit don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel so you will get more video on idle and incremental games because we all love that stuff over here and guys check the pin comment and the video description for more links we have a playlist for other games over there we have link to with my discord and other youtube channels and also there is a, a video on this channel with the giveaway of 150 USD. You want to take part in that, probably. Other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this video. That's about it for now. Stand Korsh out. Have a good one. Bye.